first want to welcome everybody. Happy Friday. Um, and then also uh, introduce our fearless leader, DJ Harrell, um, the fearless leader of the Development Services Department. And he always starts with an inspiring message and some updates. So DJ, over to you. I don't know about inspiring, but I am happy to be here with you all today. I just wanted to take a quick second to say good morning. I also want to express my sincere gratitude for all the hard work and dedication of our collective. Um, it still amazes me on how much we've been able to accomplish, uh, you know, every day. I know that we have been stretched a little thin lately. Just want you guys to know that help is on the way. Um, the, it looks like our budget will be passed with our additional uh, AP in support of our customer service efforts, our Acela software, uh, some of the volumes in different sections that we've been seeing has warranted increases in our staffing levels. So I'm uh, very optimistic that uh, we, you know, relief is on the way, you know, for some of these uh, strenuous activities that we have to uh, make sure that we complete every day. So, again, I just wanted to say good morning. Thank you for all the good work that you guys do. Uh, let's sit back and learn about the development process. So, no Friday morning is complete without technical difficulties. So, um, oh. So we have Leticia Cordero with commercial, or who's a commercial compliance supervisor with co-compliance department speaking to us this morning. But of course, her computer decided to crash on her <laughs> this morning as she opened things up. So um, just had a chat message saying that um, she can't hear anything just yet. And so she's looking at her settings. So hopefully um, we will get that squared away in just a moment. So give me one second while I see if I can work around this issue. Still working on it. I actually have the presentation, <laughs> but um, we need our, our fearless narrator. All right, give us a few minutes and we will um, we'll keep you posted. You're muted, DJ.
Hey, Armand, I see you're messaging the chat. Um, yes, they had the groundbreaking on yesterday for the uh, new city halls, uh, city council chambers, uh, which was a very exciting event. I, I wasn't able to attend, but you know, I've got you know feedback from multiple folks that were there that it was a very joyous occasion. I, I, I don't know if you've been able to tour City Hall or you know at least go over to see the building and the lobby and the grounds, but you know I'm super excited still about our move over there. Uh, with our move, right? We're still slated to go on the fourth. I mean, on the fifth and sixth floors of the building, uh, which would be the fifth floor would be our customer service floor. So all those activities that we have to work directly with customers will be housed on the fifth floor, and then the back of house will be completely on the the sixth floor. The layout is still being work, worked on um, by Tanya and Farley and the uh, the governing group that is working with property management. Um, so we still uh, don't know exactly what the floors will look like. We do know that. The fifth floor with some of our alliance partners from, you know, TPW and fire, uh, water department, neighborhood services, uh, and, and folks like that. Um, they, they will have, you know, each have their own sections and some will be inter intermingled with with us, uh, depending on where they fall in the development process. So, we're still slated to go. Um, uh, the early projection was the fall of 2023. It's looking more like January 2024.